Hey everyone, I want to talk about uh, the characteristics of great Christian leader. This is part three. If you haven't watched part one and part two, I strongly uh, recommend uh, to go uh, and look at our YouTube channel. There's a recast, uh, a playlist where you'll be able to see a part one and part two of uh, uh, the, this this podcast. And today, um, I want to t- uh, t- uh, talk about um, this this topic: absurd ideas. A good leader is not afraid of trying new things for God, even though it may look absurd. Let me say that again. A good Christian leader is not afraid of trying new things for God, even though it may look absurd. John Wesley's uh, Oxford friend, the evangelist George Whitfield, uh, he was um, excluded from the churches of Bristol uh, uh, upon his return from America. And same happened for John Wesley as well. They both were excluded and they were allowed not to preach uh, in the churches. Um, So when Wesley uh, reached Bristol, the city was booming with new industrial and commercial development. um, And there were a lot of riots and uh, religious uproars at the time. Um, So George Whitfield, he took a bold step he started to preach in the open air, which was a very new concept at the time, um, because the people uh, always preached the church. Uh, that's the uh, custom in, in those day and age. So George Whitfield started to do something bold, um, and and he asked, he invited John Wesley uh, to copy this bold step and start preaching in the open air, and uh, overcoming his scruples, uh, he uh, John Wesley preaches first. A message at Whitfield's invitation, a sermon in the open air in April 1739. And Wesley wrote in his diary, I could scarce reconcile myself to this strange way of preaching in the fields, of which he, talking about Whitfield, set me an example on Sunday. Having been all my life till very lately so tenacious of every point relating to decency and order, that I should have thought the saving of souls almost a sin if it had not been done in a church. See, John Wesley thought if preaching is not done in church, it's a sin. Uh, he was so afraid of uh, trying this new step, bold step that Whitfield started. Uh, but because he uh, overcome, uh, he overcame all this um, doubts and fears and he started to preach with, with Whitfield, these two men absolutely change uh, that generation upside down with the preaching of God's word, what, what they did in the open air ministry. Um, so so they, they tried something new when the situation demanded uh, something new and bold. Um, and that's how great leaders are throughout the history. If you look, uh, every one of them um, tried some bold and new and absurd ideas. It, it was Albert Einstein who said, if at first the idea is not absurd, then there will be no hope for it. Think about that. If your idea is not absurd, then there will be no hope for, uh, for it. And William Carey said this, attempt great things for God and expect great things from God. And, and if you look at the scripture, every single one of them, when God gave them a mission, God gave them an idea, everything looked absurd in a human way. Because God's ways are so much higher. The scripture says God's, God's ways are not our ways. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. God's ways and thoughts are so much higher than our thoughts and minds. When God asked people to do certain things, it was absurd. It was beyond human imagination. Who, who would have thought of building a, a ark in the middle of a desert where they never heard of rain or flood? And, and God asked Noah to build such a big ark uh, for, by six people, um, six or seven, uh, seven people in Noah's family. They built such a big ark and then they had to bring in all these animals, different animals and load them. Uh, but because God said a flood is going to come, everyone would have laughed at Noah. Everyone would have said that's a crazy idea. If this man has gone crazy. They would have discouraged Noah. They would have laughed at Noah. They would have made fun of uh, Noah. See, Noah understood if God asks us to do something, and if we know that's from God, doesn't matter what people think about it. Doesn't matter what people say. People may laugh about it. People may uh, uh, 
question you about it people may warn you about it but it doesn't matter it what matters is who asks you to do it if god asks you to do it go and do it no matter what and that's what noah did and noah is not the only person look at moses god asked moses to to uh, cross the red sea put a staff so that it will divide and then walk on that uh, dry land moses would have first thought that's a crazy idea there is a big sea before me and the egyptians are chasing me behind uh, 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 us and god is asking me to put a staff isn't that crazy but moses obeyed and same for david or uh, you can take gideon or nehemiah uh, through every single one of them um god when asked god asked uh, them to do something it looked crazy jesus asked the disciples once to go and catch a fish and find a, a coin at the mouth of the fish and and pay taxes isn't that uh, from a human perspective a human mind perspective uh, uh, isn't that absurd yeah it is absurd idea but if it's from god then you don't have to worry about it you just have to obey um billy graham and george wover and and tim keller and all the big people all the great christian leaders in this generation they all uh, had a, a, a godly idea and, and the small idea and they were fearless to go and implement it and the rest is his history they changed the world upside down imagine what if billy graham or george wover or tim keller they had some fears and and and, and some people discourage and some people uh, 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 ridicule and then they gave up their idea there wouldn't have been a, a billy graham evangelistic association there wouldn't have been um, um, uh, all these crusades in the past with through which god saved thousands and thousands and millions of people and and th- there wouldn't have been operational mobilization but, uh, if it's not for george wover he spent all his money and go and bought a fish, uh, bought a ship that's a crazy idea who will buy a ship see that's a godly idea and and god used george wover's idea uh, to 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 impact people around the world through the work of operational mobilization we need to understand that that we are on god's side and god is with us once we know that and once understand once we we know that the idea the 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 task that we are supposed to do is from god then we should obey no matter what but because the bible says for with god nothing is impossible if it's from god nothing should stop you whether if it if it's small or big or if it's if it's uh, crazy doesn't matter we should go and do it and someone said if your goals doesn't scare you they aren't big enough we need to plan big and 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 do things big things for god because we have an awesome god we should stop thinking from a human uh, uh, perspective because we live in this generation which is um, full of restrictions and if we for instance this generation is so crazy about Uh, so obsessed about risk assessment and safety health and safety and security all these things are important i'm not saying you shouldn't do it but that does shouldn't come in the way of god's work uh, if uh, if god is asking us to do certain things and uh, uh, imagine if george wover or uh, uh, noah uh, did a health and safety and said to god no this doesn't pass the health and safety requirements i can't do it isn't that crazy so we need to learn to use these things uh, uh, by applying god's word we need to learn uh, to obey god uh, 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 and, and according to psychologists they call and uh, the psychologists call the pigmalion effect and and that means you're either rising or falling to the expectations and demands of your current situation for example if your situation demanded that you need to have 20000 pounds in the next four months you will work hard you will raise charity you'll raise for do fundraise or do something to somehow get that money if your situation demanded nothing more than that you just sit around and and play video games or watch netflix then you'll be able to easily able to do that so you are either rising or falling to the expectations and demands of your current situation remember that so how big you play in your 
uh, entire life is up to you. Uh, that's why uh, one of the uh, leader, uh, Jesse, Jesse Itzer, once wrote, people are always waiting for something to happen before they change their lives. But they have it backward. When you change your life, big things are more likely to happen. So remember that we need to attempt great things for God and expect great things from God. I hope it's useful.